Hey guys, Chad Trofkman here. Today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to create a writing effect in Flash. So let's say you're doing an advertisement or an e-card or whatever really, and you want to create the effect that your word is being handwritten onto the screen little bits and pieces at a time to form the word. It's actually pretty easy to do. It's a bit repetitive though, but the effect can be achieved pretty easily. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you need to do is get your text tool and write out a word. It doesn't really matter what. And go ahead and pick a font, something that's probably not really elaborate because the more elaborate a font, the harder it's obviously gonna be to do this. So I have a pretty straightforward font here. So once we do that, we're gonna go ahead and break apart our word. So in order to do this, you select the word with your selection tool and you're going to go ahead and break it apart with command or um, control B. So just go ahead and hold in your control key and hit B and then you'll break it apart so you have individual letters but we want to do it one more time so we go ahead and do that one more time. And now your word is completely broken apart. So what we're going to do now is we're gonna take our eraser tool and we're gonna start erasing this. So we are gonna have a drawn effect, but to make it easier, we're actually going to erase the word in reverse order. So we're gonna start with the O and we're gonna erase little bits at a time and we're gonna keep going with the L's and so on. Since we're doing this in reverse order, we gotta keep a couple of things in mind. And that is how we draw the letters. For instance, with an O, normally when I would draw an O, I would go like this, down, up, just like that. So when erasing, you're gonna go in complete reverse. You're gonna go like this. You're gonna erase the parts like that. Same with the L's. Usually I'll draw an L like this when I'm actually writing. But when you're erasing, again, reverse. So let's go ahead and get started. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a frame with just the um, word as is. So I'm going to go ahead and hit F6. When I do this, it creates a keyframe down here. So on the second frame now, with my eraser tool, I'm going to go ahead and just take a chunk out like that. I'm gonna hit F6 again, creating a keyframe. I'm just gonna take a little bit more out. And then I'm just gonna start the process and I'm going to keep going like this. And again, it's repetitive, but it's actually not that hard to do. Let's go through like this and like that. Now, since we're starting a new letter, we might want to add like two or three frames in between because just to give it, you know, for instance, the pencil, it might lift up off the uh, you know, page to go to the next letter. I know we're not drawing a pencil here, but just to emulate it anyway. So I'm just gonna hit F6 like two or three times. Now we start again at the bottom and we just go in reverse order. Now, obviously the more you erase here each time, um, the faster the effect is going to go. You can also change how fast the effect goes afterwards by adjusting your frame rate. Okay, now I'm gonna go one, two, three. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this stuff now. And there are different ways you can go about this. You could in fact um, make a bunch of keyframes with your whole word and just erase the entire thing each time except for a couple of spots that you want to stay drawn. That process is actually a bit more difficult in my opinion but you can do it that way if you want so go like this okay now for the H or a T or a lowercase I the last thing you usually um, put on is the cross or the dot so here we are going to go ahead and erase, erase the uh, cross first. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go like that, like that. 
and get rid of it like that. Then you can go ahead and start down here again and work your way up. Just like that. And then we're going to go ahead, go down here, and do the same. Okay, so you have your whole word erase now. And if we go back to the first frame on our timeline and we hit enter, we can see it going in reverse. Now, we obviously want it to write, not erase. Let's go ahead and take our selection tool. Let's come down here to our timeline and let's go to the last frame in our timeline. We're gonna go ahead and click that and then hold in shift and then go to our first frame. Now we are going to right click and we're going to select reverse frames. This will be reverse the entire set of frames that we have selected. So now the first frame there's nothing and if we hit enter it draws out just like that. And as I said the faster you erase or the bigger you erase I should say the faster it will go. And of course as I said you can go into your properties here and you can adjust your frame rate. For instance, if I make it 30 instead of 50, and then you hit, go back to frame one and hit enter, it'll be a slower process. And that's it. That's pretty much how you create a writing effect in Flash. Again, pretty easy to do, but of course, if you have really big, letter, uh, big words, it's gonna be quite repetitive. Anyway, I hope you guys found this helpful, and I'll see you guys next time.